As a child of a mother of the stolen generation, to hear our government acknowledge the tremendous wrongs committed against our people was profound. I will always continue to tell my story and my mother's, the story of how she spent years in Roland's mission near Bunbury in Western Australia, how she and her nine brothers and sisters were taken from their parents and split between three different missions, hundreds of miles apart. The member for Grainless spoke about Senator Dilson hiding in the long grass, watching as the welfare officers took away his mates. Put yourself in the shoes of that little boy, not just in that moment, but in the earlier moments of his life that meant he knew he needed to run and hide. Put yourself in the shoes of a three-year-old, wrapped in the love of a large family, to have that love ripped away, to put yourself in the shoes of parents loving, caring and now grieving. We remember the stolen generations, children taken from their parents. I say it again, children taken from their parents. No parent, no child could fail to understand the devastation of that. Sorry is not the hardest word to say. The hardest is I forgive you. But I do know that such a path of forgiveness does lead to healing. It does open up a new opportunity. It does offer up release from the bondage of pain and suffering that no simple apology on its own can achieve. We cannot look to our future without reflecting on the past because until a nation acknowledges the full truth of its history, it will be burdened by its unspoken weight. We must acknowledge the wrongs, learn from them, and look for ways of healing. Truth-telling can be confronting, but it need not be grounds for conflict. It should be seen as the first step of finding grounds for resolution and moving forward as one.